Right, I'm going to do a quick review on models I've got here, the ships. I've not done ships for over 30 years, since I was a young lad actually. And then it was old hind and stuff like that, the old sailed ones. So, but I've seen videos on people doing aircraft carriers and battleships and everything and I've, I've got to try these. So I've picked up and they're tiny, they really are tiny, but the 1700 scale waterline series ones. So the stop obviously just at the bottom so you can use them in the diorama. I picked up these two kits specifically so I can do a diorama a C1 because I really fancy doing one because they look brilliant. So Enterprise, this is the Second World War version. As it's, it's where are we? Usual box art. It's got the Ornit, the Nelson, Rodney there. The one we're doing. Uh, this is a if you can see 1974 Tamiya. So this shows you how old this kit is. So first off, Enterprise, that's what I'm going to be showing you first. But I also got a little Fletcher to go with it. And I thought, again, Second World War ship. I'll put it with that. And you can even see on the actual uh, hey, there's an aircraft carrier in the background with it so I thought I'd do the same put them both on together be a nice size comparison so I'll have a look at the second one that one after but first off let me get this sorted so I've got somewhere to stick it all let's have a look what we've got in the box first is aircraft sprue and you've gotten oh got something else in there actually just seen that it's got some copper wire So we've got one set there, two different styles, you can tell with the actual, and there's a little bit of detail on these two. If you look, I'm not talking out silly crazy. I don't look too bad, although if you look, that's, that looks like bad moulding on that one, on, right on the, not that good. But, 74, what do I expect? Same again. Same again. This, this looks like one, two, there's like this five or two, same. Yeah, and then two different ones here because you've got your, there'll be fighters and torpedo bombers and normal bombers and stuff like that. There you go. Four little tiny sprues of that. This is the Zoom the bottom one yet. Oops, glued up here. This night staples. So, rid of all this, I'll sort it out after. And this is why it's called a waterline, see? That's where your hull's going to finish, so when you do your diorama, you ain't got to do it like that deep before you actually can sit it in it. You can have a, a shallow diorama. And we go. That's a portholes across. Just details are not bad for a 74, I suppose. I don't know if it got reworked, but it looks all right. What do I know? I've not done one forever. <laughs> this bag then. In here, then. It's actually a lot. I think it were only about 17 quid. Something like that. I'll have a look after and I'll let you know at the end of the video. I'll tack it on just so that you know how much I've paid. I know the Fletcher was about 9 quid because I only got that the other day. I know that for a certainty, but I got this a month or so ago when it finally come back into stock. I got it from Jedlam Racing, I think they're called. They do all kind of models and that. Right. And we've got your lifeboats and your things, but you used to take them to shore and back. But lifeboats, D 
different ones and that you've got they look like machine gun mounts that's probably what that tiny bit of copper's for maybe we've got to cut that just to make your little guns for it and you've got other guns there they look they look like torpedo launchers to be honest though lots of tiny little detail it's amazing how much detail's in that to be honest as you can see Go quick whiz around on it like that so you can see you can see on that forward machine rear anti-aircraft guns I presume there would have been them that's if that's what they are but they look like it to me but yeah that's that one we've got so this is the upper deck uh, yeah and you can see the lines on that that are going down and represent I, I presume it were a wooden deck but I'm, I don't know until I check into it but if you play World of Warships I do play World of Warships if you do then you'll, the Enterprise is on that and I've got it and it's disgustingly overpowered and that's why I had to have it when I saw it I just had to have this Transfers, uh, to be honest, it looks like it's just your aeroplane markings, fog wings, a lot of them. Oh, like a tiny. Right, not special there. Um, this one, here's my last one. Well, that's nice because you can use that for it on the side of your diorama. Got USS Enterprise there. That's not that's good, that. I think I got that. That's me. Enough bags to last a lifetime. Right. This looks like more of the side and probably. But I ain't got a clue. <laughs> they look like your little dinghy type ones that they used to have on. Yeah, lots, lots of little detail. That on my phone. Sorry about that. I do run a business, so I'm a roofer. So you're going to find a lot of people are going to be dinging me and whatever it is does me head in. I ignore it usually. Yeah, no. and that. I presume is what you sit it down on to, to give the bottom of the hull some sturdiness for the waterline side. And this, I don't know a clue. Oh, it's a lump of metal. It feels like a lump of metal. Yeah. I wonder if it's to add weight to it. I don't know. It's a lump of metal. <laughs> Scrapyard. There you go, that's what you get for the kit itself. And destructions. Alright, what's that one? That might be the one I want. That's your Japanese. Interesting then. Tech tips, get it in every Tamiya kit. If you ever seen one, you've seen them all. Loads of them. And Instructions very plain and simple, but then again, 74. Don't expect totals, yeah, because in it obviously to get a bit of weight, there's your metal plate. And you've got your that's that bottom piece, have a right. So, your roll, your very bottom bit, your decking, you're going to build up as it's going up up there. I think it's showing you some can you can fit some of them in aircraft on the lower deck actually probably be able to see it yeah probably for all that there Let's see it for all this bit I think it is Ooh, weird instructions for all there they are weird instructions when it's one long sheet it's like parchment yeah, got them all lined up the fixings up machine guns yes yeah we're right yeah Little tiny thing, three millimeters long. <laughs> right, 
that's going to be fun. I can see them firing off into space, make 39. I've got better, better copper for that. On the front, it just gives you a bit of a famous commander's. It's got the actual colours for aircraft and the colours for deck and that. And then it's just telling you, completed in 1938 by Shipbuilding Company. And it's just explaining 9,800 to. I'll read that myself one day. I like to read them because they do give you a bit of an insight. I'm just looking and I can't see no painting guide at all. Or am I? I might be going. But I can't, normally, when you get, I mean, they are old instructions, but normally it just says light grey, deck grey. There's no. Numbers, no row or, or the, the XFs or whatever. Another so no, nope, not having any. The day you don't deserve them. Make it up yourself as you go along, and I'm good at that. So chuck all this lot. In fact, I'll just chuck this to one side. So you don't want to be watching me print stuff away. Put it to PR away. There you go. Right. Fletcher. Yeah, and bags out way. Getting tapped by old bags. Out. Right. Again, one seven hundred scale. So picture. Now you see, you got more of a pattern on camouflage and stuff. And it's got yeah, because this is a newer kit. It's got your X tens, XF fifty three. So you've got your coloring. I wonder if it's on this. Just one second. Mm, no, I can't see it. Sorry, no, 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 no. Ignore me. It's not on the box, so I can see. Right. So you've got your chart showing colourings thing. You've got your normal, your waterline series nine on two. Your item number. Made it Philippines again, and America. And there it is. 1996, oh, oh, sorry, 1996, tell me that, there you go, right, this is time compared to over, here she comes, right, drop them to the side there, oh my goodness, this is small compared to that other one, but then again, it's an aircraft carrying a destroyer, what do you expect? Here we go, check it all out. Wow, oh these are going to go flying. Look at the size of them. Right. It's got lots of little bits, lots of tiny, tiny, they look like meant to be guns. And I'm telling you now, they are, they're anti-aircraft guns and stuff. They're going to go flying. Carpet monsters having them. But maybe not. I'm getting better at taking them off at sprue, I'll be honest. I am using a little tip. I'll, I'll show you now quickly. Get a bit of blue tack, cutting, say that one off there. And all I do is press, and then while blue tack's holding it, cut it, and it don't I've not really lost any of that way. But I saw somebody do it on a video and I thought that's fantastic. So I nicked it. Right. Torpedo tubes. Looks like a coffee machine. <laughs> it's probably smoke stacks in all honesty. Yeah, smoke stacks. <laughs> uh, the life, little lifeboat type ones. You've got your masts. Thing here, you've got your. I think that's the bottom for that, so that you've got your upper bottom. Yeah. And I presume that's your deck. You're building up your deck with that. One thing. See on there, it's got a railing all the way around. As you can see that. There ain't no railing in that. And I ain't going to be able to replicate it myself. Now I have seen people do these ships and they do get uh, aftermarket photo etch. But this is going to be me trying some of it for a one. If it works well and I do enjoy doing it, I'll probably get another and I'll get a photo etch set to go on it. But me and photo etch, we're not friends at times. 
it, it don't like me and I don't like it half the time it floats off into a just I'm either glued up to I ever miss end or the piece I'm trying to glue on is driving me crazy transfers decals don't go transfers the decals there you go looks like it looks like you can but I'd probably put that on a piece of paper first and then fold it and then stick it that way so not much of a kit probably only take me one session to build that put them there with that instructions that looks like a little nope but rubbish to me there you go. caution eating sprue I've got, I've got some if, if that's for to do rigging with I've got some stuff I'll use instead it's like stretchy elasticy line stuff it's from a Arby Dasher is whatever they call them shop sewing that's all foreign but we've got it in English as well so uh, yeah <laughs> what is it there's one page and it's got all the stages but in all honesty there's five one two three four five and then that's it don't even bother going on naming anymore just does one giant five yeah it's got it nine quid can't complain Nice in English at the bottom there. Explains about it again. Fletcher class appeared in that World War Two, 175 of them made. Again, World of Warships. You've got to have got a Fletcher. He's brilliant. It's better than the tier 10. It really is. Tier 9 Fletcher, one of the best ships in the game. There you go. As I say, I'll tack on after this now. I'm gonna find out how much it was and I'll let you know. Thanks a lot. And I'll sort this all out. Catch you later.